Small military spending, win them over with love. No. Live worth to watch, finally. Thank you. Victory, uh, thank you also to... Whoever that was. Alex Jones is a... Lolly trap. Admit it, you just... It's someone that already is following the channel, and then they created this... They created this account just to make me say that. Which I'm fine with, to be fair. Yeah, let's see what happens if we just 3v1 this guy. I think we should win. We really should win, because we have... No real terrain penalty. It's 3v1. Yeah. Alright, when's the military factory coming up? Uh, in quite a while, actually. Yeah, we're gonna win. I mean, his organization is going down. Also here. We're just going to attack where he has less troops. Yeah, it just slowly but surely goes up. Yeah, boy, build this airbase, man. Is he gonna reinforce? No, because he's an idiot. Don't even need to use force attack. That's good. Please, Islamic China. <laughs> I wonder if it's possible, because, you know, we could, we could do Salafist... No, we cannot do Salafist propaganda, because we're not in the Middle East. We can, however, do nationalist propaganda. Increase selection threshold. Making it more difficult for small parties to get into power. Okay, I see. Yeah, look at that. Slowly but surely killing him. Mawete Torres. Are we actually like, gaining any progress here? Not really. Isn't this guy amazing? Let's me attack into into enemies without really preparing. Cabinet reform. Thanks for the political power. That is useful. Um, I. I think we might as well just get more research slots, because they're fucking free. Or no, mobilize the working class, because we have more than four factories. Adds one civilian industry. Thanks, South Africa, for buying my shit. How many civilian factories do we get from that? Two. Yeah, thank you, South Africa. Allows us to mobilize the working class. Hmm. Yeah, we can invest in all these shitty-ass countries, I guess. Man, this guy. Man, playing oil states sounds fun in this... Oh, well, Sudan has just won his civil war. Because guess what? You can use all that delicious oil money. Angola civil war is an ideological war. Why decreasing military spending result in peace? That's not what anyone said. Oh, assassination of Ahmed Shah Massoud. Okay. Hmm. GDP per capita. Right. We should just save up for the stable growth now, should we? Because we're we're getting monies. Uh, can we repay that? Yeah. I mean, we're only losing 0.01 billion in interest. Okay, now it's saying 0 billion. Okay, so reducing our debt sounds great. Imagine, imagine your occupied territories. That's fine. I'm pretty sure the airbase should have been built quite a while ago. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's just bugged, but we'll see. Okay, so we can retire as leader, and now we can do our propaganda campaigns. Now, our our movement is fine, and oh, hello there! Fuck. What the fuck are you doing? The Americans have fucking showed up. Well, this has just become a lot harder, all of a sudden. 
Shit. Uh, we need... Uh... Yeah, we could smuggle heavy weapons, which is gonna give us uh, gonna give us a Malutka ATGMs. Let's just retreat the hell out of there. <laughs> Ching whack. <laughs> yeah, big ass oof, man. Holy shit. They came in fucking... Okay, so... Oh, shit. Hold on. Now, this would be a problem, because... Even if we get the, the, the anti-tank, we don't have... Oh, hold on. Will they automatically go? Yeah, we have ATTMs already. And they're not penetrating, are they? No, but not everyone has ATGMs. Okay, I see him. This is problematic. George Bush forms new government. Uh, how the fuck did we manage to piss off the United States enough for them to send fucking volunteers against us? Not a lot. Is there any way for us to tell them to fuck off? We didn't do anything to them. Next two days. Okay, so actually, we're really in trouble. Okay, now this has become a little bit harder than it used to be. San Minjui Gang. Okay, go away, America. Fuck. How the fuck are we gonna beat the Americans? There's like no way for us to do it. Because we don't have weapons. I guess they heard we have oil. Or something. Fucking Americans. Fucking Americans. Well, that was not what was expected. Um... Can you send us volunteers? For you? What would it take? For them to do that? 30, 30... Fucking hell, ambulances. Man, this is not good. This is really not good. This is really, 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 really not good. And yeah, it's never going to build that airbase because it's bugged AF. What would it take to make a ceasefire thing? More than 49% surrender progress. Shit. Smuggle heavy weapons. But see, it's not... We're not piercing them anyway. Even though we, we must be damaging them at least. Yeah, they are losing tanks. But see, the thing is, they have infinite tanks. So... Some injury should jump the Nats Bowl. Not exactly. Any gamers in the chat? Oh, Jesus Christ. Uh, how are we supposed to deal with this? Fucking America, man. Fucking America. Let's just try to get heavy weapons. 
from the Russians. Man, this is not good. Um, okay, at least we're getting uh, we're getting factories. That's good. Placate the upper class. This focus has no. It's not in a civil war. Hmm. Hmm. Not in an offensive war. Apparently, we meet those requirements. <laughs> sure, mate. Oh, apparently. <laughs> yeah. Whatever. Um, uh, that's kind of bugged. Oh, shit, he's counterattacking me. Yeah, just, just let him go to the other side of the river, it's fine. Fuck. Bunch of dicks, man. This really pisses me off. We were actually winning the bloody Civil War. And then the Americans were like, oh man. Oh, wouldn't it be funny if we were to fucking freedomize these people? <sighs> wouldn't it be very funny if we were to freedomize the fuck out of them? And funny it wasn't. So yeah, apparently we're screwed. Because there's no way we're gonna... Spain leaves the EU. Okay. Okay, dude. Yeah, in terms of, like, attacking them, there's no way. Give me small arms. Okay, civilian factories. Alright, uh, so now we can actually fucking produce small arms. Uh, let's see, who would it be better to get? You're not gonna give me them, you're gonna give me them, but I think I think it's like the same between China, Russia, and all. 6-3, six, 6-3, six free, six free, 17 kilometer. Six three six three seventeen kilometer. Yes, it is. Small arms nineteen eighty five. Thank you. So let's produce those AK seventy fours. Oh, we need aluminum or light metals. We need light metals to do things. Serves you right for doing nine eleven. Yeah. I mean, if Somalia could do it. Yeah, I guess. I guess it's just. Let's show. Economic aid given by Ireland. We've been given $7.4 billion in immediate economic aid by Ireland. This has strengthened Angolan-Irish relations, and while the gift officially came without preconditions, it is understood to have strengthened their influence in our country. Thanks, Ireland. <laughs> I love it. So now Ireland has 5% influence in Angola. Only Wakanda can save you now. Frogman is the Chinese superhero. Yo, El Gappa. Uh, we are having problems. We are having serious Angolan problems. Okay, so... At the very least, we are producing AK-74s and stuff. Uh, I guess repair that infrastructure and then... Then get more military factories. So that stuff's important. More stability is good. Assure the national fuel reserves. We need to have completed building railways. Okay, expand urban areas and resources, resources. Alignment debate, all neighbors. Intelligence stations might be good. What would command power really do? Oh, command power, sorry, not, not command power. You know, this doesn't really do anything except 
give us research bonuses. Satisfy the middle class. Uh, invest in biofuels. No, we don't care. Create an automotive industry. That's good. But don't have the time. Uh, let's do the primary schools first. So we get the research slots. So we can kill the Americans. Make Ireland a colonial empire. Of course. Seems like the US wants to restore the triangle trade. Oh my goodness me. Okay, so honestly the only way we're gonna get like any help in here is if we get the Russians or someone to give us a million pieces of artillery. Oh, we can just continuously smuggle heavy weapons. Okay. Well then it's good that we are a rentier state. Uh, Capo Verdean elections. Okay. Uh, can we use our massive fucking treasury? Yeah, essentially we can turn it into political power by increasing our social spending. Like, we can just build a fucking straight-up welfare state. So, like, right now we're spending 6.9 billion dollars on that. We have 3 billion dollars in international investments. Yeah, we still have that thing. Let's just cancel it. We could just fucking invest in, like, this guy. Let's invest in him. Let's hope that, you know, we can, we can build an international business empire. So, daily earn 1001, yikes department, okay. I wonder, like, how the international investment calculations are made. Like, how the hell? I, I don't know. Whatever. Um, crippling corruption. This might not be good. We might have to reduce that at some point. Congolese election. Yeah, let's, let's make a welfare state with massive corruption. Surely that will not have any repercussions. Apparently corruption, though, does not actually... Does not actually deal with political power at all. Like, it, it destroys everything, but not political power. That does not make any fucking sense to me, but fine. So let's just increase everything that increases our political power. Welfare state. Or extensive welfare state. Okay, so right now we have 007. Let's see if we just take welfare state. 004. Okay, okay, it's starting to look... Not as good, but now we get a bunch of political power. Constructing civilian industry in Ba Congo, Congo DR. Yeah. Can Angola invest in China? Yeah, probably we can. I have crippling corruption. Yeah, I know, right? Okay, boys, we are gonna definitely destroy those. Idris the B? Ha <laughs> the Chad man. The Chad man. Idris the Bee, where are you? Wait, what? Oh, Chad, here we are. The greatest man on Earth. He's apparently guaranteed by Egypt. Okay. So that's if Gaddafi wants to murder him. Give economic aid. Man, Ireland! <laughs> what the fu- Why is Ireland, like, the greatest investor in Africa? <laughs> Ireland is the new China, man. Apparently Ireland is just amazing. What the fuck, Ireland? Apparently they have, they have zero investment, but... Oh, hello there. They have zero investment. Britain moves right, Jesus Christ. But... They have daily expenditures of 38 billion. How the fuck are they getting the money then? They, they have no gain. Oh, whatever. Okay, look at that. 11 billion dollars in international investments. How fucking amazing. Still constructing that civilian industry. Man, that's actually gonna give them a civilian industry. That's amazing. Okay, fucking hell. I hate phones so much. <laughs> 